Hello everyone and welcome back to Anxious Beauty. Today we're going to do a get ready with me. Let's get started. So guys, uh, this video is not sponsored in any way. It's just me and my opinions. Um, long time no see. I wanted to kind of take a break from filming for a while just because I was feeling... I don't know, like I didn't want to get to like the burnout part, if that makes sense, but I feel like I just needed some time off from filming. So yeah, I am back now. I just wanted to take like a few days just to myself, kind of do some more of my other interests, but I do love makeup and I am back. I just wanted to let you guys know that I was getting to the point where I was just needing to get other things done and getting some and wanting to do some other interests that I had and so that's why. So anyways, I already got uh, eye primer on my eyes and of course as you guys know until I run out I am using the Pretty Vulgar Unchained eyeshadow primer. Next we're gonna go with eyes, nothing too crazy. Uh, this is the Makeup Revolution London Soap X Extra Spice palette. Sorry the palette is reflective but there that is but yeah I was just needing a break so thank you guys for being patient with me nothing too crazy I am gonna go in with I'm thinking maybe cookie dough all over the eyes right here and then we're gonna just top that off with little sparkle dreams and call that a day So hopefully you guys are doing good. guys here are my eyes and how they're looking so yeah just kind of keeping it real simple today now I'm gonna move on to the face for face primer today I am using the wet and wild photo focus face primer this is in the dewy one but I I've missed you guys I have missed you guys so much All right, got my face primer on. It's really nothing to see, but it's on there. My face is nice and tacky here. So for foundation today, guys, I'm using the L'Oreal Paris Inflammable 24-Hour Fresh Wear Foundation in a powder. I have mine in the shade 10 Porcelain. I love this stuff, and it's so lightweight, which is awesome, because I hate the feeling of, like, heaviness on my face. Uh, Real Techniques Powder Sponge here, which is obviously different texture than the other Real Techniques sponge that I use, which is this one right here. I also love the way this makes my face look, if that makes sense. And it doesn't look like there's a lot here, but there is plenty. I have used this several times now and not even close to running out. I also put lotion on my face today beforehand. I always forget to like tell you guys that in the beginning of the videos. Putting some on my neck here. That way it matches my face. And somehow, some way my face still has a chance to peel even though I put on lotion today. Oh, well, it is what it is. All right, before we go any further in the face for mascara, I am using the uh, Maybelline New York Lance, blah, 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 Last Sensational Sky High Mascara. If I could open it the right way. Here's what the wand looks like, very 
Thin and Bendy, which I personally love. Because I feel like it coats all my lashes better than the big one does. There we go. And I never bother doing my lower lashes just because half the time I forget and there's barely like, like I have lower lashes, there's just, I just don't do them. Moving on to bronzer. This is the L'Oreal Paris True Match Lumi Bronze. Uh, this can also be used on your body as well as face here. Uh, this was in the shade like Zero Light, so it's like the lightest shade. There's a little bit of shimmer in here, but it's not like horrible and overbearing. And look at how much there is in there, like a lot, which is awesome. We'll use this one. This is the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills brush that I'm using. Also, I forgot to tell you guys. Um, this is the, uh, for the brush I used on my eyes here, this is the Moda Detailed brush. But anyways, back to bronzing. That's a lot of bronzer. I skipped using concealer today just because I didn't want to. Ball on my natural cheekbones. That's why I'm making the fishy face. And then I'm using the Real Techniques uh, sponge here, the orange one, and just kind of blending that a little bit better. I don't want you guys to think that this is the powder doing this. This is just my skin. Like I said, I put lotion on earlier. It's just dry. It's just how my skin is. I have like combination skin. Sometimes it can be very dry. Sometimes it can be very oily. And it just does what it wants, like my hair. All right. Now for blush. I haven't used this in like what feels like a long time. This is the Ofra uh, Charm Your Cheeks Mini Mix palette here. I think I got this in BoxyCharm, I believe. But there's your choices for blush. I didn't really figure this out, which one I wanted to use beforehand. Let's try this one over here. I haven't really used that one much. It has like the tiniest bit of shimmer, but not much. And it's a little bit darker, but... Uh... Candy Apple, I believe, is what that one is. Also, it's nice because there's a little magnet part right here and it just shuts on its own. I would have thought that red one would have been candy apple, but I don't name these things. Ooh, now it looks like I got a Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer going on, but we'll blend that here in just a sec. Okie dokie. And I'm gonna blend that out here in just a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and add highlight before we do that. This is the Ace Beauty a Glow Essentials Highlighter Palette. I believe this is another BoxyCharm item I got. Most of my makeup's from BoxyCharm when I had it. Take a little insert. That's what it looks like there on the inside. I think I want to use... Let's try... I want to try something different. I want to kind of like go out just a little bit. Let's try this one. Gleaming, and I don't think I've ever used gleaming. It looks pretty. Little blending brush from Moda. It's supposed to be used on the eyes, but I use it for mainly like highlighters. Sometimes I'll use it on the eyes, but normally I tend to go for like the icy highlighters or like the other 
um, kind of lighter highlighters, but today I'm feeling different. I forgot. Oh, no, yeah, I'm going to blend it in after I run. <laughs> I forgot that I had blush on my face there for a moment. And I'm like, why is my nose so red? Because you haven't blended it in yet. Because you're doing that all at the same time. It's been so long since I've done makeup that I forgot how to do it, apparently. And then Cupid's bow. Put that over there for now. And we blend. Like, I got my routine down, though. It's like riding a bike. As far as like what order I do things in. Eyes first, then face, finish with lips. All right, so I think I'm gonna go in with this today. This is the I Heart Revolution Chocolate Lip Gloss in the shade Bittersweet. Very pretty kind of light pinky color there. There's a little applicator. So here is the finished look. I'll give you a close up. And then the further away version. But overall, I am very happy with how this look turned out. It's nothing too extreme, but you could definitely tell I'm wearing makeup if that makes sense, but it's nothing like crazy over the top. But thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for also being patient with me and letting me kind of just take a break. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. It does help me out a lot and I appreciate it. And as always, if you want to see more of me, I forget how to talk. If you guys wish to see more of me, don't forget to hit the subscribe button by hitting the little bell over there in the corner. See future uploads from me. We'd love to have you. We have fun here. As always, thank you guys for liking, commenting, subscribing, just watching my videos. It means the world to me as well. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to go ahead and head out for the day. And I will see you guys soon with another new video. And I hope you guys are having a great day. And I will see you soon. Bye, guys.